we have almost three in four American adults who are overweight or obese. Um, uh, and about half of American adults have diabetes or prediabetes. When you start, you know, saying that the healthy population is the small minority of the population, right? It should, it, that's, not nor, that's not okay, right? It, it should be that people with disease are the minority and we generally have a healthy population. We've completely flipped that on its head and we have a tiny, tiny proportion of the population that's actually healthy and yeah. everybody else has disease. And most of that disease, not all of it, most of that disease is, is strongly diet related. Yeah. So, so we you, have you, a, wrote, you wrote in your CNN article that before COVID-19 that poor diet kills 530,000 Americans every year, about 1,500 deaths every day. That was before COVID-19. Yeah. So, you know, COVID-19 is, is, is tragic. And these 50,000 deaths already in the United States are, are, are tragic. And, and we need to be doing everything we can to, to reduce this. Um, and at the same time, before COVID-19, around 40,000 Americans were dying every month directly from diet-related diseases that we've estimated that, that would not have happened if they had a healthy diet. And so, yeah. and we did, we weren't, you know, going up in arms and, and saying this is, that we have to stop this. This is causing, you know, catastrophe, but it was, it was, it, it's causing, you know, uh, uh, billions of dollars, tens of billions of dollars in preventable healthcare costs, which, which burdens are. American businesses, which burdens our federal governments and state state government budgets, um, it's causing incredible disparities, big differences between you know the haves and the have-nots in our society, um, and it's causing a lot of suffering, um, and it's overwhelming our healthcare system. So, so here's where I think you know I'm, you know, moving beyond, you know, the today to think about the rest of 2020, 2021, the next administration. We really need to to take this learning from COVID that that we do not have a healthy population. And then when you don't have a healthy population and a crisis strikes, it shuts down the economy and, and people suffer and businesses suffer. We need to take that knowledge and, and fix the food system.